Hey everybody, my name is Levi Gates, co-owner of Zion Off-Road, and we're here doing a walk around of our 2022 model. We've designed the only fully modular trailer on the market. The two trailers that you see beside me are the same exact trailer. This one here um, is the base model, and over here we have what started as the base model, but with a whole bunch of modular accessories that really expanded uh, the capability of it. The ability to mix and match your accessories, depending on your adventure, is the cornerstone of Zion Off-Road Modular Trailers. With a custom T-Track, as well as holes in the frame that allow you to mount your accessories, it allows you to build your trailer your way on your budget and on your timeline. Starting over here with the base model, the base model has a exterior dimension of 155 inches from the front coupler all the way to the back rear receiver has a max width of 85 and a half inches, that is from fender to fender, and a height of 82 inches. Um, that is from the floor to the top of the vent up on the ceiling, um, making it small enough to be able to fit through most common garage door sizes. With a weight of 1,380 pounds, it's light enough to be able to be pulled by most vehicles, but with a max capacity of 3,000, you have plenty of room for gear and other accessories that you want. With our build as you go system, you can start light, um, pulling it with a small crossover, or you can upgrade, grow, add accessories, and be able to pull it with a mid-size truck or mid-size mid -size SUV. The frame is made up of steel, laser cut, and CNC bent, and sandblasted and powder coated for an attractive and durable finish. The tires on the base model here are 27 inch tires on 15 inch wheels, with straight axle and leaf springs as a suspension. However, that too is modular, being able to upgrade, um, which we'll talk a little bit more as we cover the upgraded trailer. On the front of the trailer, we have this expanded metal platform, which offers an incredibly useful location to strap your gear to. We're talking perfect for firewood, grill, camp chairs, or any other things like that. For expanded storage, you can add a tongue box to the front, or you can add our front accessory system, or the FAS, which we'll talk about on the other trailer. The tongue comes equipped with a two inch ball coupler on the base trailer with a single jack for easy loading and unloading. The trailer comes standard with a seven pin connector and safety chains. As far as exterior lighting goes, we have red and amber running lights, as well as a bright side light that's controllable from the cabin used to light up the area around your trailer while you're setting up camp or maybe while nature calls in the middle of the night. Here on the back of the trailer, we have more reverse lights that are also controllable from the switch inside the cabin. The two lights on the rear, as well as the two lights on the side, come on automatically when your tow vehicle is in reverse, which is personally one of my favorite features. This is especially useful when backing into tight camping spots at night. There are also additional running and running lights and dedicated turn brake signals for added safety. We also have a two inch hitch receiver rated at 300 pounds, perfect for a bike rack. Moving over here to the back galley, to start, we have a large shelf here on top, perfect for preparing food. We have a cooler compartment on the right-hand side and an electrical compartment here on the left. This fits the electrical box, optional uh, modular accessory. But down here on the left, we have the access panel to be able to access uh, some fuses and additional plugs. On the left-hand side here, up above the shelf, we have two cubbies. On the right, we have four more. And up in the ceiling, there are four LEDs that are all controllable from inside the cabin. Moving over here to the interior cabin, doors on either side allow access to the interior so you aren't having to crawl over your partner, gear, or dogs to get in and out. The doors here are double sealed and lockable with large tinted windows and insect screens. The trailer has solid walls to separate you from the wind, rain, bears, other things you don't want to sleep with. These walls are made up of three quarter inch birch plywood and the whole thing is sheathed in aluminum. There's one and a half inch solid foam insulation on the floor, ceiling, front diagonal, and front. And the entire trailer is wrapped in aluminum, even the bottom, to keep out the elements. Your sleeping space is 75 inches long by 58 and a half inches wide and 43 and a half inches tall. On the ceiling are four LED lights and a three speed max fan, which is dual directional, meaning you can suck air out of the cabin or push it into the cabin. This fan, combined with the windows being open, create a steady breeze for those hot nights. On the floor are four tie-down points to strap down boxes or gear and allow you to free up some space from your already cramped tow vehicle 
make yourself more room. Above your feet is a shelf and cubbies for additional storage. In the middle are an inverter and shore power outlets and electrical panel. The electrical panel controls interior lights, exterior lights, battery voltage, and inverter. In addition, there are two USB plugs and 12 volt outlet. Perfect for charging phones, camera, or your GoPro while you sleep. Let's move over here to the upgraded base model. This trailer boasts a lot of additional accessories. Starting at the front, you can add a tongue box for storage, but we've opted for the front accessory system, or FAS, which comes up from the frame, over, and ties back down into the frame. This provides mounting options on the sides, the front, and the top. This is perfect for a spare tire, gas cans, propane tank, um, other boxes, or other awesome accessories. The upgraded hitch option is a lock and roll three axis articulating hitch. We have the extended shank, which allows more capable off-road towing. As we make our way to the side, we see a few modular jack mounts. This accessory allows you to level your trailer for a perfect night's sleep. On the side here, we have front steps, rear step, and off-road fender accessories, which bolt into the frame using our laser cut holes. The upgraded off-road fender fits up to a 33 inch tire and is rated to support 200 pounds all by itself. When you add the front and the rear step, that increases that weight rating to 350 pounds. For tires, we have on our 31 and a half inch BFG KO2s, sitting on our upgraded suspension. Remember how the base trailer had a straight axle and leaf springs? Well, that's modular as well. We designed our frame to be compatible with the Timbrin independent suspension. At any point, you can upgrade your suspension by dropping the axle and leaf springs, bolting in the Timbrins into a quarter inch steel plate welded into the frame, the bigger tires and upgraded suspension give you a smoother ride, and more capable off-road experience. We also have our side accessory system, or SAS, that ties into both the aluminum extrusion on the top and the rear step on the bottom, giving you the ability to mount accessories on the side of your trailer. Here we have our Rotapax mount. The mounting system here is compatible with the front accessory system so you can mix and match your accessories to optimize the loadout for your needs or hobbies. On the roof, we have four adjustable crossbars, each rated at 75 pounds dynamic and 150 pounds static. You're able to slide those forward and back to add even more mounting locations. With two, you're able to mount bulky or oversized items such as solar panel, kayak, paddleboard, bike, or fishing rod. Add a couple more crossbars and equip your trailer with heavier items, like a rooftop tent or a large awning. On the driver's side rear quarter panel, we have three electrical plugs, a solar hookup to keep your battery topped off when on, when on a longer adventure, inverter plug for access to the inverter for external lights, and shore power plug for bigger appliances without having to draw power from the battery. The galley of the upgraded trailer also has some additional modular accessories, including a fridge slide, electrical box, and batteries. While the base trailer does not come with a battery, the lights and fan all still work while your tow vehicle is on, with the goal being to make the base trailer as affordable as possible. The electrical box and battery allow you to control the lights independent of your tow vehicle, while providing some additional functionality, such as separating your galley lights from your cabin lights, and offering another location to turn on all of your exterior lights, as well as additional outlets. Also in the electrical box are a 1000 watt inverter, dual solar battery charger, battery shutoff switches, relays, and additional fuses. The electrical compartment is designed for up to two Group 31 batteries. They can be lead acid, AGM, or lithium, depending on your budget and needs. In this trailer, we have a six inch thick, queen size tri-fold mattress, allowing us to access the tie down points on the floor. A regular air mattress or pad also work just fine. The goal of the base trailer is to get the price point and weight as low as we possibly could, while still providing a strong enough foundation to be able to leave room for upgrades, your gear, and other accessories. This makes it so more people have the opportunity to enter the market and get into small trailer camping. We try our best to future-proof our trailers. We're constantly designing and prototyping new and exciting accessories. Because our trailer is modular, 
You never have to feel as if you're going to miss out on new upgrades. Your trailer is never obsolete. It can change with you over the season and years, or as your hobbies, family, and lifestyle change. Thanks for watching our 2022 trailer walk around. <laughs>